Hello friends and welcome back. In this lecture we will talk about immutable classes and objects. And here is our outline. We will see what is an immutable object and what is an immutable class and we will see some examples. Let's get started. What is an immutable object? An immutable object is an object whose contents cannot be changed. In other words, the values of the data fields of an immutable object cannot be changed. So let me tell you this, sometimes we want to create an object whose contents cannot be changed once the object has been created. Such an object is called an immutable object and the class that is used to create this object is called an immutable class. For example, the string class is an immutable class and the string objects are immutable objects. And this was discussed previously in the course, alright? So let's talk about immutable classes. How can we say that a class is an immutable class? First of all, all data fields must be private. Also, there can't be any setter methods in this class. And finally, no getter methods can return a data field that is mutable. A mutable object is an object whose content can be changed. In other words, if there is a getter method that returns an object, this object should be immutable. So if we have a getter for an attribute that is an object, if this attribute is immutable, then this rule is satisfied. But if this attribute is immutable, then we cannot say that the class is immutable, right? Obviously, this rule applies to data fields of reference types. Now let's see some examples. I created a class that is called C1. Inside it, we have a private integer x. We have a constructor that takes the value of x and assign the value to the attribute. And also we have a getter for the variable x. So let's see if this class is immutable. First of all, all the data fields are private. Also, we don't have any setters over here. And since we don't have an attribute which is an object, then the third rule is satisfied. So the class C1 is immutable. So if we create an object from this class, we will not be able to change the value of the attribute x of this object, all right? Let's see another example. Now we have a class C2. Inside this class, we also have a private integer x. We have a constructor. And over here, we have a setter for the variable x. So immediately we say that the class C2 is not an immutable class. It is a mutable class, all right? Because we are able to change the value of the attribute x using this setter over here, right? Now let's modify the C1 class. I added a private attribute of type C2 and called it C2. And I modified the constructor accordingly. So now the constructor receives two arguments, an integer and an object of type C2, and we are assigning the attributes to be equal to the parameters, all right? And over here, we have a getter for the variable x, but we don't have a getter for this attribute over here. So let's see if the class C1 is immutable. First of all, all the data fields are private. Also, we don't have any setters in this class. And also, we don't have a getter for this object over here. So we don't need to discuss the third rule. It is satisfied. Now let's make a small change. We have the same class, but now I added a getter for the attribute C2. This is a method that returns an object of type C2 and inside it we are returning this.c2. So we are returning the attribute C2. So now we have a getter that returns an object, right? So now we need to see if this object is immutable or not. As we said before, the class C2 is immutable. It is not immutable. So this attribute over here is also not immutable. So this getter over here returns a mutable object. So this means that the third rule is not satisfied. So immediately we say that the class C1 is not immutable. Now you might ask why. So let me show you this example. Over here I'm creating an object of the class C1. It has x equal 1 and C2 equal to this object over here. And also the x of this object is equal to 1. So we are storing the reference to this object inside this variable. Now as we said before, an immutable object is an object whose contents cannot be changed. So we must not be able to make any modifications to this object over here. Now have a look over here. I'm creating an object of type C2 and I'm assigning it to be equal to C1.getC2. So this method will return the attribute C2 of the object C1. So now this object over here references the attribute C2 of the object C1. And after that, I can access the setX method of the C2 object. And for example, I will set X to be equal to 3. So we are changing the value of the X attribute of the C2 attribute of the C1 object. In other words, this value over here will be changed. So as you can see, we are able to make modifications to the content of the object C1. So the class C1 is not immutable and also the object C1 is not immutable. And this is it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.